PN junction and forward bias voltage and reverse bias voltage. What is a diode? A diode is a semiconductor device that only allows current to flow in one direction but restricts current from flowing in from flowing in the opposite direction. Now what is inside a diode? There are two things inside a diode. One is a P-type semiconductor and the next one is an N-type semiconductor. The P stands for positive. P-type semiconductor is a material that is rich in holes or positively charged ions. The N in N-type stands for negative. The N type is a semiconductor material that is negatively charged ions or have many excess electrons. Now that we know what a diode is and what is inside a diode, it will be easier for us to understand about PN junction. What is PN junction? Well, PN junction mm -hmm. is the junction that is formed when P type and N type materials are placed in contact with each other. In the N type semiconductor, most of the carriers are electrons. In the P-type semiconductor, most of the carriers are holes. PN junction process. There are three processes in, in, in PN junction. First one is diffusion. Second one is a depletion region. And the third one is the potential barrier. How diffusion happens? Diffusion process. Diffusion happens when electrons move from N side to P side and holes move from P side to N side through the junction. When an electron leaves the N side region, it leaves behind positive charges at the N side. Similarly, when a hole is diffused to the N side, it leaves behind negative charge at the P side. After diffusion happens, a depletion region is created. Depletion region. What is depletion region? Well, the depletion region happens when more and more electrons leave the N region and more and more holes leave the P region. A region of positive and negative charges is from the junction. Positive charges get accumulated near the N side junction and negative charges get accumulated near the P side junction. After depletion happens, a potential barrier is created to prevent further diffusion in the diode. What is a potential barrier? Well, a, poten a potential barrier happens when an electric field is made inside the diode. The electric field acts as a barrier that prevents further diffusion of holes and electrons. The electric, the electric field happens through Coulomb's law, which states that it can only happen when electric charges are separated from each other. Like in this diagram, the electric charges are separated from each other which is sufficient enough for a potential barrier to happen or an electric fit to happen to prevent further diffusion from happening. After we know about PN junction, now we will find out about forward bias voltage. Forward bias voltage. Forward biasing happens when your power supply or DC voltage are connected to a different terminal on the P-type and N-type semiconductor. And also, the region is connected to the positive terminal and N region is connected to the negative terminal of the DC voltage cell. And let's look at the video for this process. Forward bias. In forward biasing, positive terminal of the battery is connected towards the P region of the PN junction and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the N region of this PN junction semiconductor. And you can see the positive terminal repels the hole in the P region and the negative terminal repels the electrons towards the junction in the N region. So a pressure is acting towards the junction and this result in the junction to shrink. You can see the junction is shrinking there. Due to this repulsion, the depletion region or the space charge region narrows down as you can see in the animation. If the voltage in the forward bias is above a specified range, these electrons in the N region drifts 
through the junction and migrates to the P region and the horse in the P region drifts through the junction and migrates towards the N region as like this you can see the electrons are drifting through the junction towards the P region and the horse are drifting through the junction towards the N region. Now the current starts to flow across the circuit and this current is called as the drift current. After we know about forward bias voltage, let's talk about reverse bias voltage. Reverse bias voltage Reverse spacing happens when the end time material is applied with positive voltage and a negative voltage is applied to the P type material. The positive voltage applied to the end type material attracts electron towards the positive electrode and away from the junction, while the holes in the P type N are also attracted away from the junction towards the negative electron. Let's look at a video for this is process. Reverse bias to achieve in PN junction semiconductor, the negative terminal of the battery will be connected towards the P type semiconductor and the positive terminal of the battery will be connected towards the N type semiconductor. So holes get attracted to the negative terminal of the battery, you can see the animation over there and the electrons get attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery as per the animation over there. So this result in the increase of the depletion region, the depletion layer or the space charge region. Because you can see the repulsion of the electrons and the holes is happening against the space charge or the depletion layer. So what happens is that this result in the increase of the depletion layer as see in the animation. That's the depletion layer over there. Now the PN junction act as an insulator and will not allow any current to flow in the circuits. So this junction or this depletion layer now will be acting as an insulator and will not allow the flow of the electrons or holes in that region. But in a particular condition, if the battery voltage is above a particular limit, what happens is that this particular limit is called as reverse bias breakdown voltage. So if the battery achieves this reverse bias breakdown voltage, what happens is that electrons and the holes break down through the PN junction and crosses this junction resulting in the current to flow through the circuit so you can see the electrons which are negatively charged crosses this junction that is breaks through this junction and moves towards the P region and the holes which are positively charged breaks through this junction and moves towards the N region resulting in the flow of a current. This breakdown is called as avalanche breakdown. In this process the current flowing through the PN junction is very high and ultimately the PN junction gets damaged due to the overheating caused by this excess flow of current. Summary of forward and reverse biasing For the forward biasing, starting at the zero intersection, the curve increases gradually into the forward bias but the forward voltage and current are extremely small. As for the reverse biasing, starting at the zero intersection, the curve drops down because there are no current flow because the depletion area is wider which means it loses its charges.